Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. And today's topic is what you should expect from a Moxie laser treatment. And for those of you out there that are saying, what the heck is a Moxie? Fair enough, it's basically a newish laser wavelength that's being used right now to treat such a wide variety of skin aging concerns all the while with half the recovery of an ablative fractionated laser. And it's really garnered so much popularity, especially here in the US, because of its ability to treat literally every single skin type safely and effectively, and the capabilities that it has of treating just about anything and everything, including melasma. If we get technical for a minute here, the Moxie is a 1927 nanometer wavelength, and this is not the only device on the market. There's the Lays MD Ultra, the Clear and Brilliant Premia, the Fraxel Dual, among others. However, if we take a look at this laser wavelength absorption chart, you can see that the 1927 is attracted to water, the water in our skin cells. However, it really is a non-ablative device, so it's only able to get about 200 microns in the skin. And just to give you a point of reference, 100 microns is basically the size of a sheet of paper. So very superficially here. Now melanin, or the pigment in our skin, exists in the basal layer, and on average that's about 40 microns deep. So now you can see with this laser, not only are we able to treat the epidermal pigment, but we're treating the subdermal pigment all at the same time. And that's why it makes such a good treatment for things like melasma. Moxie is a fit for just about everybody, you guys. This is a non-ablative laser that lightly resurfaces. You can treat just about every type of dispigmentation in the skin, rosacea all the way up till your 80s and you want to do some light treatments to kind of help yourself look and feel a little bit better. So really almost anybody is a candidate for this laser. The frequency depends a lot on the patient, you know, their budget, their lifestyle, their goals. However, in the literature, they do recommend for optimal results coming in quarterly. So once every three months and the treatment cost averages depending on where you live, but averaging from 800 to $1,200 per treatment. In a nutshell, the treatment has four levels or settings, five, 10, 15, and 20. Now, what I always tell my patients and what I'll tell you is that in my opinion, in my experience, it really tends to be your best interest to go with the higher settings, the 15 or the 20. And even though you may have one or two days of extra recovery, I always tell people that your degree of recovery is directly correlated to your results. So if you want it to be worth your while, and most of us do, right? Especially when we're paying anywhere from 800 to 12 hundred dollars per treatment we want to get the biggest bang out of our buck so it really is a matter of just going for the higher settings and the best way to kind of come up with a treatment plan is to talk to your provider ask them about the settings ask them what their expertise is what they've found to be the most beneficial and go from there Now, immediately following the treatment, you should be experiencing a sunburn sensation, and that only lasts for about 45 to 60 minutes. You can use some ice packs to kind of help during this period. I usually just have my patients on a barrier cream and a gentle cleanser, and then they can always add like a tinted sunscreen. I prefer Elta MD most of the time. Try to resist the urge to pick, and if it becomes really itchy for you guys, just go straight to Aquaphor. You know, the only downside with something like Aquaphor though is you can get teeny tiny breakouts temporarily from using it, but sometimes it's worth the relief that you get when you're so itchy. And usually the best results are seen 10 days post. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for joining me. And if you're on your Moxie journey right now, I hope this helps. And if you're considering Moxie, I hope this helps. So until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.